from this week forward, we're gonna have a course giveaway on this channel, which is shamelessly stolen by just me. Well, to enter this giveaway, you only have to respond to course the question of the day. And of course, the winner will be revealed on Friday. So the more question of the day you respond to throughout this week, the higher chance to have to win, of course, this comma O shiny version giveaway, which is a sexy EV level 100 the ev spread as you see on the screen to get it with of course choice pick which will be included with the pokemon itself so of course all that said enjoy this video ancient face that this world has forgotten Ooh, what is up guys and of course welcome to our pokemon wi-fi battle with just real course the skyrender and as you guys see i'm using sudowoodo in this team to get with tauros Lurantis, Pangoro, Special, Flying On, and of course, Vikavolt. So a very, very straightforward team here, and you know, the star of this team is definitely Sudowoodoo. I really want to make this thing somewhat viable. And we're going to have up against Toxapec, Glaceon, and... Well, I'm going to say Kamo, but Kumala, uh, Lucario, uh, Zerande, and of course, Alolan Raichu. So yeah, from the get-go here, I mean, it looks like my opponent really, really can't stall me out. Definitely would have liked the Toxic Packs, but definitely just a whole lot against my whole team, actually, outside of, of course. Also, his little choreo looks really scarily mainly because I don't necessarily think anything on my team do take it well. Vikavolt might actually be the only response I have for it, and even at that, it's a stretch, honestly. And of course, for the question of the day, and it isn't going to be associated with Kamo, of course, since it's a part of the giveaway, what is the best set for Kamo, in your honest opinion? The physical set, or of course the special set, or is it some weird support, toxic stalling set that I'm not knowing about? Make sure to of course write that down below, I really want to know what you guys are thinking. So, with all that said, I'm just gonna start off here with, like I said, Sudowoodo, since he's the main star, I really just wanted early pressure. I kinda felt that he was probably the only one that's gonna be able to pull that off. So, really now, with all this said, let's go. So, from the get-go, we're actually going to lead off with Toxipex, which I thought was kind of scary. It was clearly that, you know, I was feeling that Toxipex, Pikes, Toxic Spikes are a very, very big issue here. So, I'm just going to go for Head Smash. I really was hoping that I did enough damage. I was really aiming for a possible 2 hit KO. And this is where with Rocket and Head Smash being, of course, a new move for it. I would think that they would be well for it. I do not do 50%. But, he has red card, which is great, mainly because I actually get my flying on out. And of course, flying on here is a special set with, of course, uh, uh, earth power as a factor. Which is really good, because clearly I get burned. So, <laughs> not having Dragon Dance or Earthquake, it's alright. I was feeling, oh no, uh, it's under control, I can do well. And he's actually staying in there. I was fearing Serane might come in. But luckily, he does stay in there, power will just annihilate the Toxapex, so... Toxipex is gone, that, that's like awesome, not having Toxic Spikes on the field is very 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 good for me and mainly clear because I really don't have any way of spinning them. So anyway, he's gonna bring Serena in here and um, I don't wanna lock myself into her power against that, I, I can't hurt it whatsoever. So I'm just gonna bring Vikavolt predicting actually U-turn or high up kick as he goes for play rough. Which is actually kinda good because it doesn't do it KO me. And I was pretty sure he was going to switch out, but it stays in, keeps going at it, as he's going to get a Specs Bug Buzz to face, and that's going to kill. That's, that's a heavy hit, that's not end for anybody's liking. So, that's probably the only, the only time you'll see Vikavol do something in this game. Because Glaceon comes in here, and uh, there is no point of me trying to even save Vikavol at this point out. The car is just going to annihilate me from this point out, or that was what I was feeling. So, I'm just going to go for Bug Buzz. And here's probably when I realized that, you know, actually getting damage on my Vikavolt was not only a bad idea, but that is an opening for Lucario. I do not want to deal with Lucario. Um, if it is Sword Stance Extreme Speed, I'm pretty much lost at this point. So anyway, I'm just going to bring Flay. I already knew that I was outspeeding, mainly because of um, Vikavolt outspeeding, and of course, this is a speedier Pangoro, and clearly Pangoro is faster than Vikavolt, so I knew exactly what I was doing here, so just sending him. Basically, I wanted to bait out Lucario because I needed a little silo damage there as Lucario comes in. And, uh, you know, a lot of thoughts went through my head. But I can tell you that one of them was not that this was a mega Lucario. So here I am, you know, I, I have focused stats on Sudowoodo. So, you know, that's probably my only play. 
Uh, he'll go for close combat, and I was feeling, alright, he needs to do that twice, and I need to hit, of course, head smash. That's the only way I'm gonna win here. So, I have to sack Flygon. I was basically like, because if I sack Flygon, then at least then, I can actually, with Sucker Punch, deal with the Raichu. So I'm gonna bring in Mirage, as he was hoping, or actually judging me, that hoping that I were a Scarf set. I am not, and that stress play was immense, mainly because of that bullet punch, definitely wasn't enough to KO me, and that was really unfortunate for my opponent, because that was a very, very crucial play, because I do believe my series of play that I was forced to make to be able to win this was a lot tougher. Having that said, and Lucario gone, I should not be able to, of course, win the game, but it's not necessarily that simple, because Kamala will not be KO'd by my Earth Power, but um, I have a few options to go with, and clearly one of them are, uh, you know, the master, the monster, that is the Sudowoodo, or the nickname, I am a tree. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna bring this in, and uh, I don't have any kind of rock polish or anything like that, so I'm just gonna head smash. I do unfortunately miss it, uh, but I am sturdy, so it goes through Earthquake, it's not going to be enough to bring me down to sturdy, but he will activate my rock, or my weakness policy. I actually think about it, I do have rock polish in his set, never mind. Anyway, the weakness policy is activated, I felt alright, let's go for the safer move then, let's go for the wood hammers, we're just going to take that hammer, we're going to just got to bim bada boom. I swear that animation is so great, though clearly Bulo is the one with the right animation. So anyway, his last Pokemon is still only Raichu, and as stated, since the weakness policy is now activated, there is no way this alone Raichu will be able to take this, of course, plus two Sucker Punch. So that is a very, very short game in a victory in my favor, and um, I'm sorry if this game was that short, I have other battles coming up, I really, really wanted to showcase Sudowoodo just clearly working, and of course the Mega Lucario. Which simply was just a nightmare from the get-go. So yeah, for the afterthoughts here, all I'm really gonna say is that Stragcat definitely did a bit of a crucial misplay there with Lucario. I don't believe losing Toxapec was all that bad. Um, I do believe I made the worst kind of call there where I actually wheeled down my Vicavolt against a matchup that was clearly not needed in the first place. And Vicavolt would have been extremely useful against Lucario. Me messing that up. Uh, and opening up for the Mega Lucario was really, really frustrating. I do appreciate that my opponent actually goes for Bullet Punch here, thinking my Flygon was scuffed, but um, at that position, he definitely should have risked over the Clones Combat. And as stated here, I really needed to land that Rockhead to be able to kill Lucario from that point on. Due to, of course, the, um, the situation I'm worried, even at minus two, I still have to rely on a possible hit that can miss. Now, it doesn't transpire to that, and I'm thankful for that, but it's a very, very Bittersweet seeing Lucario fall like that because it's a very, very interesting Pokemon. Uh, it's a very, very powerful one at that. And, you know, clearly was a ban for a reason. That reason still stands. Adaptability, close combat, bullet punch, Iron Heads are just extremely ferocious. I don't believe it learns Iron Head actually. Um, but yeah, with that said, guys, I want to thank, of course, for watching. I want to thank Swagcat for the game. And I'm sorry it was so short. It was just one of those very rare cases where the matchup just sold itself. And of course, Sudwuru was half that battle. Uh, but with that said, I want to thank you guys for, of course, watching. Make sure to write, of course, response to the comment section or the question of the day in the comment section. That was a very, very bad fluid translator. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.